And today, Oklahoma veterans are getting ready for the trip of a lifetime. They're heading to Washington, D.C. to visit the memorials dedicated to their service. 2 News anchor Justin Fisher is live at Tulsa International Airport with how the day is going to look for those veterans. An important day, Justin. Oh, most certainly an important day. Uh, Aaron, good morning. Good morning to everyone else. Michael in the studio as well. Uh, you can kind of get the sense of things starting to pick up on this, as you mentioned, Aaron, very, very important day for these veterans who signed on the dotted line that they were going uh, to, to serve their country. And the idea behind the Oklahoma Warriors Honor Flight is to serve these veterans, uh, to take them to the memorials that are for their service. And they actually spent the night, had a pretty late night, a party last night at the Hard Rock uh, Hotel and Casino in Catoosa. And that's where they woke up this morning, gathering in the lobby for hopping on some buses and heading over here uh, to Tulsa International Airport. In fact, there's already uh, some volunteers here with some donuts, <laughs> some QT donuts ready uh, for these veterans when they get here, veterans and volunteers as well. Uh, 68, uh, at last check, total veterans. That is two World War II veterans, 12 Korean veterans, 54 Vietnam veterans. So there are a lot of people on this flight heading to Washington, D.C. I spoke with uh, Chris Schroeder. He not only is a veteran himself, but he's a board member. He's a volunteer. Uh, listen to how he describes how today is going to go. Take off and uh, head straight to D.C. Um, when we get there, we get to uh, experience the excitement of going to every single memorial. We try and fit in as many as possible. You know, we only have that one day, so uh, logistically we've got it down fairly fairly smooth to where we can visit every single memorial, World War II, Air Force, Marine Corps, and as many as we can possibly hit throughout that day. Yeah, so when he talks about the logistics firsthand, I went with him a couple months ago on, on the first trip that they took in a while since the pandemic. This is uh, now the second one for Chris in particular. He's been with the organization for just about a year and a half on their board. Uh, but the logistics are are down to the pit, to the pin point, down to the second. They know when they're leaving the hotel. They know when they're going to be getting here at the airport. They know when they're going to be taking off and every stop in between. But it is a long day for these guys, uh, for the volunteers as well. It's going to be a very long one. They're landing just about 9 o'clock back here at, at Tulsa International um, and it's going to be to uh, a very nice welcome which we'll talk about a little uh, later in the show but it is a very good day for them I mean having the opportunity to go with them uh, was exceptionally special as well Aaron. Oh I'm sure that it was and as you mentioned they really seem to do it upright that's got to be not cheap so how's it funded? Uh, it's all fundraising. I mean, this is from uh, the donors, uh, from corporate donors to each individual person. If you want to give a couple of dollars, even a couple of cents, I mean, anything helps. It is hundreds of dollars per veteran. I mean, you're talking thousand plus to get these guys uh, to the memorials, again, to their service. Uh, their guardians, each veteran has a guardian that goes with them in addition to a lot of other volunteers that go on these flights too. That's about $500 per person. Um, and they typically ask that those, those chaperones, as they call them, uh, kind of supply that. And Chris tells me that is something they almost al always do without even a second thought. So it does take a lot of money. You can check out cagerich.com. We do have the details on how you can donate uh, or volunteer your time as well. Passionate volunteers and donors, you're passionate about the project as well, so we're going to be talking to you throughout the morning. Thank you so much, Justin. And again, if you want to help out with a future honor flight, you can go to our website, kjrh.com.